The recent shootings involving teenagers, one young man who is an ex-gang member turned millionaire by fate is reaching out to kids with the message, stay in school. Shay Harris is live on five with his story. And Shay, we hear this young man is very humble. Well, Chris and Danita, he really is. And although he's a millionaire, he still works at Wendy's to live from day to day. And he still drives what he calls his old bucket. He says he refuses to squander the money that his father lost his life for. He plans to be a good steward by giving himself back to the community. When nobody allowed on the street, basically. Like, we had the street on lock. This East 52nd Street house was 18-year-old Slater Howell's gang's hangout before he made up his mind to change. The life that I was living wasn't the right life. That's why I was placed behind bars. Howell's journey to delinquency started when his mom walked out. He was only three. I was nine years old and my father died. So as my father died, I didn't have no father figure. I didn't have nobody to look up to. I was three and she, she just left. Slater was awarded a huge settlement for his father's death. He says caregivers received stipends to take care of him, but he didn't see the money. That's why I turned to the, the streets. Lack of money and lack of love. Looking back is painful because Howell says he did some terrible things. I wish I could go back to 14 or 15 or 13 or 12 or 8. I wish I can go back there, but now I'm out here on my own. Now Howell pays it forward. He's helping young kids and doing what he says Nancy Johnson's mentoring did for him when he was only 14. It wasn't the only things that she was saying. It was the things that she was doing, keeping me out of trouble, taking me places that I've never been. Slater's a student at Tri-C. He says that's the one thing he did right during the chaotic years. He got his education. He hopes other kids will do the same. By you turning to the streets, you're going to end up dead or in jail. And by you being young, you're going to end up where I was at. And I didn't like it where I was at. Now, Slater is a Boys and Girls Club kid. He says they helped save his life. The organization is accepting kids for the summer months who need mentoring and a safe place to be kids. Live on 5 in the studio, Shay Harris.